If the human body was designed, then it was designed very poorly. Do you need to go and see the doctor? These arguments I need of some medical attention, mate. So check out this free dhikr and dua app. Let's look at this. 400. Oh my words. Translation, transliteration. I'm spoiling you guys. Download it now. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. I was browsing on TikTok. Yes, that's right. It was a weak moment for me. You weak man. You are a weak man. You are a weak man. And I found this bloke here. Yeah. If the human body was designed, then it was designed very poorly and clearly not by an all-powerful, all-knowing and perfect creator. Okay, great. So what's the level of expertise that you bring into the table yet? Yeah? Because for you to be critiquing the human body, you need to have some serious academia to back it up. Otherwise, it's like a three-year-old trying to mark a philosophy paper. You're just not qualified. So what are you bringing, mate? 30 year old TikToker. Hello, what planet are you living on? Planet Zog? There are so many flaws with the human body that even if I had an hour to list them all, I would run out of time. <laughs> nah, mate. These so-called flaws were dealt with before you and I were even born. That's right, in 1895, a German anatomist by the name of Wiedersheim noted down all the functions of these vestigial or useless organs that was suggested by Darwin and others. If I had an hour to list them, I would probably run out of time. Let me give you one more chance. For one, our breathing hole and our eating hole are the same. It's our throat. It's very easy for our food and our drink to get stuck there and for us to die. Hang on a minute. This design seems to be working very well for you and me. If it didn't, we'd be dead by now. In fact, let's look in 2014. For ages less than 50, England and Wales, the deaths were 26 from a population of 57 million plus. Another one. Another example, there's a nerve that goes from your brain to your larynx to help control your voice, but it doesn't take a straight path. It goes all the way down and loops around an artery near your heart. Why? Well, because it wasn't designed like that, it evolved like that. Who and when did we decide that the shortest and straightest path is the best in terms of design? I missed that memo. Another example, a lot of us have vestigial elements in our body that not only do we not need, but actually give us a lot of trouble. Like my wisdom teeth that I had to have surgically removed. If it were not for modern medical science, it could have resulted in my death due to infection. Nice try, mate. So Gail Vines in 1998 in The New Scientist says, Wisdom teeth are very useful. And I quote, he goes, especially if other molars wear down or decay. Although we in our culture find that wisdom teeth often have to be removed, this may be because of modern diet, which is, and again I quote from him, too soft to give our teeth the exercise they need to achieve their full potential. And plus, if the use of an organ is not known, it doesn't mean it doesn't have a purpose. It could mean that we just haven't found it yet. In any case, how would you definitively prove that it doesn't have a purpose? I'll give you a clue, you can't. We were clearly not designed, we evolved by natural selection. Your first premise failed, so your conclusion is invalid. And in any case, giving agency to a process or a law is about as useful as giving designability to the force of gravity. There still needs to be a creator of that law because it depends on something else that depends on something else, we cannot have an infinite regress of contingent things. Now, if you're really sincere, have a look at the DNA, have a look at the human cell, have a look at the complexity of human behavior, the consciousness, the mind, and undoubtedly these things amongst many others point towards a designer.